Peace, power, and protection, my beautiful, beautiful Scorpios. Welcome to First Eye Visions. My name is Q, and I'm here to do your general readings, beloveds. It's been a little minute. I ain't going to hold ya. <laughs> it's been a little minute. Uh, but you already know how I do by now. I like to do readings when I feel spirit has something that it wants to convey to the collective and here we are. Um, I will, you beautiful souls are feeling amazing. I will, all is blissed in your world. Everything is everything in minds. It's been very busy. I'm sure it's been the same for y'all. School is out, children are home. So, you know, a lot of, a lot of time and energy goes into, you know, into recreational activities and, and being there for my son now. Um, but also, you know, I have other projects going on. I've been making some new items. I'm really excited. I made these little crystal wands that I'm making. Uh, it's like chakra, chakra colors. Um, and it's just, you know, it's wrapped with uh, copper and um, it's selenite wands, but it's wrapped. And I've been making some of those because I made a couple in, in um you know, a couple of people said, oh, can you make me one? I want one. And I was like, OK, well, if it's like a hot commodity, I might as well add that to the store. You know what I'm saying? So I made a couple of those and I made some more bracelets because those have been, um, you know, selling also my evil eye bracelets. I also have just um, made some more. Uh, I made some Scorpio. So I made these little black bracelets. Let me show you. I can show you better than I could tell you. Right. Give me one moment. All right. So thank y'all. So this is one that I made. This is like a shorter one. So this is like, this is real copper. It's wrapped. And then those are some real stones that are on there. We got a little amethyst action. Um, got some tiger's eye. We got Dalmatian. What is that? Dalmatian. I forgot the name of that one. Don't get me to line. But yeah. So this is one. Then I also have um, this. This is a larger one. You can see the difference in size. Katara is trying to say hey. Say hi, everybody. Say good day, family. So this is um, what we have here. Please don't step on my computer, Katara. Thank you, my lovely. So see how long that one is in comparison so um we got those so that's what i'm making these are new items like my my um family member saw that i was making these and she was like oh i want one and then one of her friends was like oh i want one and then a couple of people was just like i want one and i was like okay i might need to <laughs> i might need to make some of that so i i got a couple of these popping i was i've been making these and put those to the side and then i also made uh this so this is a scorpio symbol you see that right there and then there is uh, lapis lazuli. That's a lapis lazuli stone. And this is all onyx. So this is onyx. These are onyx stones. And um, well, some are onyx and some are obsidian. Not all of them are onyx. Some of them, but they're all black stones. So I, you know, she's knocking down my stuff, girl. I, I appreciate your visit. Let's, you got to respect the home. You got to respect. She's just sitting here. Look at her. She's so cute. I love this little girl. She's so sweet. But um, and she's very connected. She every time I do a reading, she could just. It's like she could sense it. Even if I'm not doing readings, if I'm doing like, uh, you know, any type of um, metaphysical practice, anything that I'm doing, uh. In, you know, in, in the essence of spirituality, she always appears. And uh, so I, I just find that to be very beautiful. She's very connected. That's my little Katara. But um, yes, yeah, so I ha I've been working on a couple of things. I wanted to share that with you. Um, if you are new here, I welcome you, beloveds. I thank you so much for tuning and tapping in. I will that my energy, the way that I read, how I do things on my side of the planet correlates with your energy. My energy vibes with yours. I will that the messages resonate. Um, the way that I do things on my side of the planet is first and foremost, I am an empath. I am also an intuitive reader and I channel 
personal messages uh, through clairaudient means. So I do play m music during my readings and the way that it works, the name of the song, lyrics within the song, name of the artist, maybe even the timestamp on the clock, it all will correlate to what I may be channeling intuitively as well as what the cards show. And it just blends beautifully. Um, my spiel here is eat the fish, spit out the bones. So if the reading doesn't apply, let it go, let it flow, let it fly, bye. Okay, don't try to force anything to be your story and also check your natal chart to see what other placements you have because there may be a better message out there for you. To each and every one of you beautiful souls that are returning, you already know what it is. Love is love is love is love is love. I've missed y'all like crazy. Um, so the results of that poll that I took a couple of weeks ago came in. And so it looks like you all want a combination of a short video and a long video. This is going to be a deep dive and then I'll follow it up with a shorter video. I'm going to like start, I, I guess what I'll do is weekly I will upload um, like a short and a long video every week I'll, sh I'll upload just so that there's not these long pauses. I just don't want to feel like I am like over flooding your timelines with content. I want to like do different things. I got multifaceted, multi-talented. And so I don't want to just focus in on one thing. I really like utilizing all of my energy, utilizing all of my creative energy because it just keeps me, you know, it keeps me happy, like honestly, to be honest with you. And so I like to do different things. I like making beats, music. I like to sing. I like to do tarot. I like to do a lot of different things. And so I'm, I'm, I'm trying to find creative ways to incorporate it all on this platform. And, um, my daughter and I were, you know, having some discussions about possibly like having almost like uh, some sort of conversation, like a daughter mother type of um, I don't want to call it a podcast because that term just seems to be just so I don't like doing what everybody else is doing. But I do want to bring real conversations and topics to the platform. I want to open it up so that we can build together, not just listening to me stand on a soapbox talking to y'all. I want to be able to engage with you all. I want to hear what you have to say. I want to, you know, have phone lines and take calls. So I'm, I'm, I'm really, really trying to figure out a way to incorporate that so we can really build and connect and and f develop like this this tribe, you know, the soul tribe that I like to, um, you know, call this this family here that we we are building and growing together. So. There's a lot of new things that I am going to start uh, implementing here, but um, I digress. I digress. I don't want to go too far off uh, off the um, off the uh, focal point. So what what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a little peek a peek, beloveds. We're gonna see what's coming in, what's going out, what's going on, um, and we're gonna do uh, like I said. This is gonna be a deep dive. So I'm not. Focusing on anything in particular, whatever comes up, comes up. Uh, meaning I'm not focusing on love per se. I'm not focusing. It's just like whatever the cards got to say, that's what I'm going to just let them say what they got to say. Uh, my readings also are timeless. So it doesn't matter what day, time, year you pop on, you know, pop into this reading. It is going to connect with you if it resonates. If it resonates, it resonates. Um, because I don't do it like, oh, today is such and such. This is a reading for this time frame. It's just, it's whenever the messages reach you that's and it, and, and it resonates, that's when you are meant to get it. It's divine time and divine order. So without further ado, we're going to go right into the messages, beloved. Uh, but before we do, we're going to go ahead and do some house cleaning. I'll shake. I'll shake. I call upon the elements of water, fire, earth, air, ether, and spirit. Ashe. I ask our beautiful angels, archangels, ancestors, ascended masters, spirit guides, deities, animal totems, earth, mother Gaia, universe, source, the divine, most high God, our creator to shine a powerful, powerful message of love and the light. I call personally upon Baba Obatala, Mama Oya, and Baba Ogun 
to bless me with the intuition and discernment of my cards. Help me to pick up on the energy, number, synchronicity, and vibrations of my cards. And so it is, so mote it be. Ashe, Ashe, Ashe. Oh, so beautiful souls. Let's tap and see what time we have on the quiz app. And it is 10.32. So that breaks down to six. So trust your intuition, beloveds. I also feel like there's going to be some major uh, connections made, partnerships made. Um, maybe some of you all are, um, I don't know if maybe you are looking for new opportunities, uh, new business endeavors, maybe a promotion, maybe a new job. Um, you know, maybe there's like a new position, uh, but I do feel like there's some sort of unions you're, you're you're building and developing strong partnerships with others um this could even in include love connections love ships uh because that six is the lovers uh but i also feel like whatever decisions you make make sure you are trusting your intuition um that was part of the reason uh you know why it, it, it was very essential for me to like to bring up the need to like sun gaze uh and to ground your energy because there's a lot going on as we know celestially uh especially with that whole schumann resonance where the frequency of the planet was off the richter um so it's very important to really stay grounded a lot of people experienced a lot of different symptoms i was one of those people my daughter was as well a uh, headache um, you know, not so much fatigue, but I, I was suffering from like dizzy spells. Like I was literally getting dizzy spells. It was weird. Um, but I went outside and I, I really made it my business to ground, to connect. I really made it my business to kick my shoes off and walk. Um, a lot of people don't do things that are healthy for them because they care about how the people will perceive them. And, and we got to get out of that, 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 um, a mindset that we need others to validate us like nobody should make you feel less inferior or more inferior you you should be so confident in yourself that you show up and you're all your you're your authentic self whatever circle you're in wherever you go whatever room you are uh, enter you should always be confident and bold enough to be your authentic self so i say all of that to say if you need to kick your shoes off and ground yourself and there are people around and you're more so worried about how people are going to perceive you oh my god they're going to think i'm crazy they're going to be watching me then you need to break that because that is that that shouldn't be your focal point you should really truly be um focused solely on your connection to your higher self to this planet you know to daughter earth mother gaia like it is truly your duty to start treating yourselves better prioritizing you forget what anybody else has to say for real like you should have the confidence like if Beyonce herself stepped into the room, you wouldn't feel inferior. If if freaking Nas, and that's my honey, <laughs> walked in the room, you shouldn't feel inferior. Like, I don't care if somebody drove up in a Lamborghini. Who cares? It's a thing. You know what I'm saying? It's like, it, it, you got to have that type of confidence. You got to build yourself up to have that type of self-love where it's like, whatever they got going on over there, you know, it ain't touching what's going on right there with you because you're the ish. You know what I'm talking about? Like things don't make you the ish. Money don't make you the ish. It's your spirit. It's your soul. People have been misguided to believe things and material things and all these things equate power and, and, and all of those things. And it really doesn't, you know, they may have a big bank account with a lot of dollar signs, but their spiritual bank account is on, it's, it's like, it's in the negative. You know what I'm talking about? So like, those are the things we should be focusing on more so now, but I digress. So we got everybody love the sunshine playing. Um, and this is, uh, very very powerful because i was just speaking to you trusting your intuition and where everybody loves the sunshine that means you know there's something beautiful that's about to unfold i feel like there's something really special that's going to bring happiness that's going to bring joy and with everybody loves the sunshine i feel like everyone in your circle group in your friend group rather um in your circle in your cipher they're all going to be elated so this is perhaps something that's coming in where you will be able to share 
um, you know, share with your beloveds, with your loved ones, um, what you have been blissed with or gifted with. So it's really a beautiful energy here. Uh, this is um, a dope song. I love it. So it's 1037, 10, 10, 10 on the clock now. So 10, 10s, endings, new beginnings. You know, every ending denotes a new beginning. So you absolutely on the precipice of a new start. Of course, she's sitting on the cards that I need. You are so cute, Katara. She's just sitting here chilling with us. Oh, that's my little friend. That's my friend. That's my friend, friend. I love that little baby girl. She's the sweetest. All right, can I have my um, can I have my numerology deck? Is it okay if I because I don't want to she looks so comfortable and I don't want to break her comfortability. So let me see. Let me put this one here so that you can lean on that. And can I take this one? And she leaned on it too. She's so cute. <laughs> oh, that sweet special baby. I'm gonna have to work around her because she apparently wants to be here right now so i'm not going to kick her out but i can't do that to the baby all right so what do we have on the bottom of the deck look at us i can't make this up spiritual partnerships and i was just talking to with that six i was feeling like he was coming in some really dope connections and dope business connections or a partnership a love connection with that 27 that's nine so that nine represents a that, that's like the highest number of change so that means that there's something that is happening behind the scenes unbeknownst to you maybe you do know maybe you've manifested this but the nine is also associated with that hermit so you've been really like perhaps working on yourself tremendously and through that work you have manifested you know some sort of powerful partnerships because the six is the lovers and it speaks to a union a connection of sorts and so you could be either developing a really strong work partnership business partnership or a love partnership and whichever it is it's going to be a spiritual one which means your angels and your guides are uh, you know definitely conspiring behind the scenes and with this everybody loves the sunshine I feel like as I said, not only will you be elated, but the people around you are going to be elated. I feel like there's some sort of enlightenment or some happy ending, a happier, um, just just feeling happier, feeling more elated um, in this situation. So that's beautiful. So spiritual partnerships and you have intuition. I can't make this up. I literally told you all trust your intuition and use discernment. You have this 22. So double numbers for those of you that may be new. Whenever I see a double number, I always feel like that's you and the person or what you're attracting to you that is mirroring one another. So you're attracting someone that's also intuitive, in tune, connected, someone who also receives those downloads. Uh, if you look on the symbol there, there is, you know, the same color that's here. This is orange and it's on the inside of the symbol. So that 27 and that 22 still reduces to four. If you are a divine masculine, this is saying that you're coming into a very sacred spiritual partnership with a special divine feminine. If you are a divine feminine, you have a divine masculine because that 22 reduces to four. So that is the vibration of you know that 11 11 but it's also uh the heart chakra so spirit is telling you like your heart trust your heart um in a situation because there is a spiritual partnership that requires you to trust your heart um your heart is going to lead you in the right direction maybe intuitively you know that and you've been ignoring it or fighting it or you know kind of denying it but i feel like you won't be able to deny a connection because it is spiritual it is a very sacred connection i feel there will be chemistry i feel there will be synergy i feel there will be familiarity similarity commonalities in this connection and i also see that you know whoever this person is um they're kind of like watching you from the back you know the background you know i kind of get a sense of like you know if it's not someone in particular watching you maybe this is something um that's coming in that you're unaware of uh because that too is associated with the high priestess uh so maybe you are unaware that there's something coming in and maybe the person or what you're attracting to you is unaware at this time but it's like you could sense it you could feel it so that's powerful so we have uh, bob marley and this is called stir it up so with stir it up maybe you're getting these feelings these emotions stirring up in your gut uh we have 96 forgiveness on the bottom of the deck as i said that so maybe there's someone from your past um 
you know, that caused a lot of pain, stirred up a lot of, of these emotions that you had to heal from. And that could be why uh, Spirit is telling you, trust your intuition when it comes to matters of the heart and when it comes to love. Uh, because whomever this person is, I feel like there's going to be so many uh, spiritual, um, like, connections, bonds that you and this person will have. And it's going to stir up these emotions within you. Um, so it's very powerful, the, uh, the energy I'm getting from that. So let's tap in. So beautiful spirit, may I get a message from my beloved Scorpios? Spirit, what messages of love and light do you have for my beloved Scorpios? Let me get a message of love and light for my beautiful Scorpios. And we say in love and light in honor of the summer solstice. So these cards are literally like slipping and I'm going to take those. So the first card we have, look at that spiritual partnership. I can't make that up. You saw how many times I just shuffled. Next card we have effort. And look how sunny and bright that is. That's 13, another four. We just saw four. And then we have domestic harmony. Beautiful. So these are your messages. So the overall energy is you have spiritual partnerships, which are attracting to you effort. So this is someone or something that's going to make the effort. That 13 is death. So there is someone that's going through some major transformation or someone that's coming in to shift something within your life. This is someone coming in with a purpose, someone coming in with, you know, um, intention. Uh, if you look at this card, it's the same color as that sunshine uh, with everybody loves the sunshine. So this is someone, um, perhaps a divine masculine that is going to be very intentional, uh, that's coming in with a purpose, with a love on the heart, on the mind, on the soul, like really, you know, because they feel that this is sacred. This is a sacred connection bond. This is a sacred partnership that they would like to develop with you. I feel like you may come into this awareness as well um, because someone will be making the effort. Whoever this person is, is someone that wants to build, someone that wants to absolutely like, you know, nurture this connection. I feel like this is someone who's been through major change, startling metamorphosis, and they've grown up. They've matured in some way. Um, this could be a divine masculine for you feminines. And for you masculines, this could just speak to you all, you know, uh, putting forth the effort um, within these connections with someone that's also coming in. Uh, with good intention, um, coming in to work just as hard, coming in to reciprocate. Uh, you know, it's, it's like it's an equal give and take. With this 46, how they feel about you, uh, it says domestic harmony. So, you know, with this 46, that's 10. So perhaps this is someone uh, that you may be familiar with, you know, because it says domestic harmony. This person is obviously looking at you as someone that they can have a very harmonious bond and connection with because even though that's 10 it reduces to one so perhaps this is someone that wants a fresh start uh because both of these to me are like endings these numbers 13 is the death 46 is the ending and so as i said every ending denotes a new beginning but i feel whoever this is they've they've made some changes and they've gained some sort of enlightenment or they've become aware or awakened to some degree that in this cycle in this junction and even with you they're going to have to put forth the effort they're going to have to put forth you know a genuine effort if they wish to get your attention because you're someone who's not putting up with half-ass attempts you're not doing no half-ass anything so with this domestic harmony it's like you've already walked away from connections where it was in balance and you're now more focused on and have been focused on really healing from all of those past wounds really establishing boundaries and really focusing on loving yourself self-love self-care has been your focal point and whomever is coming in whomever this is that you're attracting to you they're aware of that they have love in their heart for you there's green 
on the inside of that symbol and this is blue so i do feel like there is a desire for this person uh to communicate because this 13 and this 46 reduces to five and there is this is a blue card so i do feel like this is someone that does have something they wish to convey communicate express if this isn't love i do feel like there is some good um communication or some good information uh that's going to be coming in that is going to lead to like some really um strong alliances uh building strong alliances partnerships um business partnerships perhaps uh you know getting into um business with other like minds as well so that's powerful on the bottom of the deck look at that i didn't even see that spiritual career so some of you all will be forging and developing some really strong um sacred connections and bonds with individuals that are on your frequency and you all will do business together um i feel what's hidden with the spiritual career many of you don't realize that your spiritual career is about to take off and these spiritual partnerships because the 78 breaks down to 15 which is six and remember we started the reading with the number six and we have um what is this we have um dennis edwards and this is called don't look any further so with this right here i feel like spirit is saying you don't need to look any further because something that you're looking for is going to be right there and that's why they were saying trust your intuition um because whatever you're looking for whomever whatever whether this be in regards to love whether this be in regards to business it's like use your intuition because you spirit is obviously saying you don't need to look any further um we have dennis edwards so someone could be dealing with someone named De dennis or edwards um as well so let's tap in so what's hidden in the energy for my beloved wow that's crazy and we got 66 healing on the bottom of the deck so this is exactly what you both have been doing whatever whomever you're attracting to you um it's going to encourage healing uh or this is someone who's also healing from past pains wounds and traumas as well remember with that 13 i felt like someone was going through a startling metamorphosis or a major transformation some enormous change is taking place in someone's life and so they're will obviously be some need to heal after you know in the aftermath of that that transformation um but there's also you know this energy of someone really like in this space where they're kind of assessing and analyzing and observing uh so i was getting someone kind of watching from a distance as well but i feel like someone does start to acknowledge or notice um what great uh investment it would be to uh to partner with you or to build that alliance or to um connect with you it's like someone seeing value in you someone seeing your worth uh someone seeing you as that divine feminine or divine masculine that 12 is like the hangman so this is really you know someone who had to kind of be humbled to some degree because the hangman is is forced in that position to look at things from a different perspective because maybe someone was one track minded or maybe they just had tunnel vision or maybe they was just stubborn hard-headed thick-headed um maybe they were consistently self-sabotaging uh but spirit will turn your behind upside down so that you can see things from someone else's vantage point from a different perspective and also from a completely different lens and that also is how they come to the grand epiphany that not only have they um you know caused pain you know to others or they're hurting that they have some trauma that needs to be healed but they're also acknowledging um you know how much you've grown uh because that three that this 12 breaks down to becomes like the three of swords so it's like now there's healing that has to be done because you've discovered the toxicity you've discovered you know the the the, the wounds the trauma the pain that exists after seeing things from a different perspective and you know that three is also associated with the solar plexus that's your self-identity your confidence uh so there was definitely a lot of work that was required for someone to gain that sense of confidence or to be become assertive as i said these numbers reduce to five so perhaps someone 
is building up that confidence now to assert themselves or to communicate, to express something. Maybe this is you expressing your true heart's desires and discovering that you no longer wish to work at this job that you've been at for 15, 20 years. You wish to pursue your dreams, your goals. You no longer wish to just chase a check. You want to chase your dreams. So, you know, maybe there's healing that's required after waking up from the illusion and breaking free from the matrix, the maw of tricks. So there's healing that's always going to be required once you discover that you're a part of an illusion. Um, there's also the three, uh, the, the, the empress. So that speaks of self mastery. That empress is, you know, that is what all of the queens and kings and, you know, the emperor would be who the kings would want to aspire to be. But the queens aspire to be like the empress because the empress is self made. She's powerful. She's beautiful. She's attractive. She's a master manifester. She co-creates with source. She's a creative. Um, she's also the maternal or the matriarch um, in the family, in the household. She's the healer. She's the shaman. She's the light worker. She's the nurturer. She's the protector. So this is how someone is also seeing you, seeing all of your attributes, your characteristics. You can, you, you constantly are like changing and transforming. So the cards that flew out for your, um, what's hidden is we have, uh, this uh, spiritual career. So for many of you, you are really working very hard on building your brand, building your business. Um, I feel things will pick, will start to pick up, but I definitely feel spirit is saying you will be fulfilled emotionally and financially because you do have a gift. This purple really shows that some of you are very psychic or very in tune, very connected. Um, spiritually, you know, that six is the first size. So you could be very intuitive. You could be clairaudient, clairvoyant, clairsentient. You could just, you know, really be sharp, witted, um, in tune and connected to Mother Gaia. Uh, you could be a channeler of sorts. You know, you may channel messages. Uh, you may be a psychic and you could just, you know, tell when something is about to occur. You know, you may get premonitions. Uh, some of you could be scryers. Uh, I definitely get a sense of some of you being shamans. I'm hearing shamans. Um, and that shaman, like I, I, I see like some of you may have been on shamanic retreats even, and this could have inspired you to, you know, start your own voyage, you know, your journey to becoming a shaman, uh, because maybe you've gone to one. Uh, we have 19 pride. So this is the death of an ego. This is definitely like showing that there's something that has transformed and shifted within someone's consciousness. There's been like a wake up call for someone, you know, where they're putting that ego to to rest and they're going to be their authentic self. There's no more hiding behind a mask, hiding behind fa facades. That's kind of like what I was speaking about in the beginning. You know, it's like no longer trying to appease and please people. Maybe perhaps for some of you, um, you wanted to always pursue, you know, the spiritual career, but you feared how other people will perceive you. Oh, you, 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 you're playing with tarot cards. That's devil work. That's devil worshiping, you know, people with their, you know, just very negative and ignorant, you know, it's more so ignorant and, and a lack of information, um, where people make these ridiculous claims, but maybe you were dealing with people who were judging you, um, you know, judging your spirituality or the fact that you no longer practice, uh, you know, maybe, you know, the fact that you're no longer going along to get along, let's just say it like that. And you're, you're, you're following your own path. And so there's no more ego because your ego had you trying to appease the very people that were judging you. And now you're freeing yourself of that. And so now this is the ego death. This is no longer, am I holding myself, um, hostage to other people's opinions. That's why I was saying earlier about, you know, having that confidence within yourself, that self-love to the point where Beyonce, Nas, they can step in the room and you're not, you, you don't feel inferior, intimidated. It's like, because you know your own power, you love yourself enough to know that you're the ish. You can admire people, but you don't have to 
you know, it's like people worshiping in these days and time when we know how twisted the music industry is and, and all the celebrity life stuff that they want us to care about that we really shouldn't. We should care more about ourselves and put more time and energy into, you know, researching and, 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 and working on our spiritual ality and healing ourselves than we are in researching and investigating what's happening in these celebrities lives like it, it really isn't our business um what's going on who's dating who who's getting divorced and who's getting what settlement and alimony and like why do you care like not you per se but just people why do people care so much about what's going on in other people's lives and it's because they don't want to focus on what's going on in theirs because there ain't nothing going on because they're not making nothing happen if you got that much time to invest on watching all these gossipy podcasts talk about celebrity life and gossip then you're not focusing that necessary time on yourself and what you need to work on um, and it's very telling so it's like that's putting the pride to the side focusing on you and no longer hiding behind you know these masks or trying to appease people or trying to um this is even self-denial you know this could be a little bit of everything but that's powerful so we have love partnerships so there's definitely some connections that are coming into fruition i feel someone is coming in i feel like there's a positive movement forward um i definitely feel like for some of you, uh, you've walked away from those connections that were making you feel emotionally bankrupt. And that's why this pride, you know, is, is at a 10, you know, 10s are ending. So it's this death of an ego walking away. Self-love is the best love. Um, and it's like, you're not allowing anyone to steal your joy in this junction of your life. This eight always reminds me of like the eight of cups and with this 19 that's nine so now you're at the nine of cups where you're going to be very mindful very particular about who you allow in because you've now established the boundaries that you may not have had in the past i said oh goodness that thing smacked me right in my face i'm sorry it was a gnat <laughs> but it's like you know now you're in the space where you're more so focused on you you're more so focused on you know taking care of you prioritizing you you walked away already so that's a show and a sign of self-love and self-care in and of itself you've invested so much when you have eight cups that means you've poured into a situation repeatedly only to feel you know like unfulfilled and so you finally walked away and that's why the pride is there because maybe for some of you you know your pride wouldn't let you do it your pride wouldn't let you walk away your pride wouldn't let you leave a situation uh but now it seems like you know maybe there's a shift like i said in consciousness so we have right now um the men all pause and this is by um climax so that's dope so the men all pause so that means that you're going to be more attractive now because you're standing in your power and it says physical activity a lot of you could be really working on yourself this is another 13 so that does show that someone has been making the effort and you have as well this is another mirror of energy because it says physical activity and effort. So in order for you to make effort, you got to be active. You got to actively be doing something in order to put forth that effort, that work, that time, that energy. And so I feel that that's exactly what's happening here also with you is you're being more physical. Maybe some of you all are taking, um, you know, your health and wellness very serious now. So you could be going out. Maybe you're trying to get 10,000 steps a day. Uh, maybe you out there jogging, maybe you're out there biking, cycling. Maybe some of you are, you know, going to um, the gym. Uh, but this is like showing that there's been uh, a very... Um, proactive you know um intention 37 37 so 10 10 so that that's the the change the shift um it was really in your consciousness also uh you know you really you know felt it um in your gut that it was time uh for a change something could have suddenly shifted uh perhaps when the summer solstice uh came in and even the shift of the planet you know the frequency of the planet could have triggered something within you all but with this physical activity i feel that there's really a genuine effort, a genuine uh, effort and intention um, to change something. Uh, there's definitely a positive uh, situation that's going to unfold as well. So we see synchronicity. So many of you have been seeing a lot of 888-777-666. A lot of you have been seeing a lot of synchronized messages, whether you were getting 
vivid lucid dreams, whether you're seeing angel numbers repeating 11 11 555 some of you are seeing 888 I know I've been seeing those numbers since the beginning of time <laughs> I've been seeing it so much I can't like I can't keep up but I recently saw 444 yesterday uh, and I also found two feathers I found two more feathers and I also um, there a frog a green a little tiny green frog hopped in front of my car and I was like oh my god that was a frog Frog. And frogs hold a very special place to, in my heart because when my uncle passed away, I had a frog hop on uh, my car and it rode on like my it, it was on my window for the entire drive to the, um, you know, to the 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 funeral home where they were holding like my uncle's wake services and this frog literally when we got all the way to the funeral home, the frog, now we was in a big field in South Carolina. I mean, trees everywhere, big old grassy field. Don't you know that frog, that same frog, because I parked, um, they didn't have like parking spots. It was just, you just park in the grass. And I parked, uh, it was a little distance from the building, to be honest with you, because there was other cars, there was other things there. And so um, that same frog, hopped its way all the way to the building and when I tell you it was on my uncle was on the other side of the wall where that frog was posted up he just hopped up on the wall and when it like the distance like when you enter in and go into the different rooms um where that frog was my uncle was literally on the other side of that wall and a cup like a year later um as I was um, on his anniversary day of his passing, I was standing in front of the altar and I'm on the third floor. Um, <laughs> I'm on the third floor. So the trees are literally like I look out at the trees. I'm like, it's really high up. And um, as I'm standing in front of the altar, you know, something caught my eye from my peripheral and uh, on my patio. And when I look out, I see this movement. I'm like, what? what is that? I was thinking of a little critter, you know, because I'm in North Carolina. They got all kinds of critters down here that you don't really see in New York, you know. But uh, so I turned the patio light on. Sure enough, it was it was a frog. It was a little tiny frog. Um, and I was I was flabbergasted because I was just like, how did that that frog get to the third floor? Like I'm, I was confused by that, you know, because the trees are a distance from my patio. It's not like they're like, you know, kind of an under, they like overlaying, you know, laying over the patio. It's like they're at a distance. So did he hop all the way from the tree? It was just weird. It was beautiful. It was just like, not weird. It was just, it was a beautiful synchronicity. So maybe some of you all are having those type of synchronicities um, where you're seeing certain things or you're hearing certain songs, perhaps maybe you're Claire audience and there's a certain song that keeps playing and there's a certain feeling or emotion that it dredges up. Uh, maybe some of you, like I said, maybe you're having certain sensations, ears ringing, you're, having headaches those are all signs that spirit is communicating with you and you need to trust your intuition use discernment in those moments because there are messages that your spirits your team your angels your guides are conveying to you um and maybe you have been uh really receiving a lot of downloads at this time and i feel like these are really going to make you elated remember we had uh you know everybody loves the sunshine and i just feel like something beautiful is about to unfold we have 81 leadership so that's powerful. So you're taking on this role, especially with the spiritual career. A lot of you are going to be bosses. You know, you're going to be, um, you know, the entrepreneurs. So others look to you, uh, perhaps as leaders, as guides, um, as healers, teachers, shamans, light workers. They look to you for that encouragement or that enlightenment. Maybe you inspire a lot of people, but they see a strength in you that really encourages and motivates them. So you are, you know, very powerful in your own right, Scorpios, and you've earned this. You know, this nine is associated with the hermit and that hermit is a wizard he knows the answers he seeks she knows the answers she seeks are found within so it's like whenever you need to consult 
with God, you go within and you always come out uh, stronger and wiser, taking that time to assess, taking that time to contemplate, taking that time to meditate, to get things straight. You don't just react. So it's like now um, these signs just come out of nowhere. You could be literally seeing 999, 111. 888-777-666. You're seeing these synchronized numbers and that spirit letting you know that you are about to be, you know, in this role as a leader, um, that you will be successful even. You know, I feel there's a gonna be, there's gonna be a lot of wish fulfillment and blessings and opportunities we have ready for the world. And this is called uh, Love You Down. So some of you may have a, like a, a love interest coming in and they're going to, to love you down. They're going to love you the right way. Um, with Ready for the World, I feel like many of you are ready to travel. Uh, many of you are ready to, you know, be your authentic selves and to stand in this newfound power that you've been able to obtain after completing cycles and 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 closing out those chapters and you know really healing and, and, and taking the time to to work on yourselves now you're ready for the change you're ready for that new chapter in your lives with this 32 it's telling me to listen to this song and and again it's ready for the world uh love you down so i do get a strong sense strong sense that you know even with the love partnerships, perhaps there's business partnerships that can graduate or elevate, I should say, ascend into more of a love connection, a love dynamic. So your business partner could possibly become your love partner, your husband, your wife, your divine counterpart. With this 32, I do feel also uh, for some of you, like, you know, there is some sort of distance uh, between you, perhaps another person. Um, Maybe there's someone that's interested, but they they're at a distance. Maybe they're trying to figure out how to be assertive. Um, this 32 is five. Some of you could be musicians also. I get a sense of like, you know, maybe you're just honing your skills, being creative, tapping into those creative energies, juices, letting things kind of flow naturally. Um, with Love You Down, I do feel like that's also just strength, really speaking to, um, you know, uh, developing these partnerships and alliances uh, because the lovers is what I'm getting from Love You Down. Uh, the lovers is really about unions and partnerships. And with the 32, that's five. That's like the hierophant. And it's also the throat chakra. So that does speak to like expression. Someone may express their feelings of of love, of interest, of desire, um, of 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 attraction, uh, because this is love you down. Uh, someone may also really love to uh, make music. They may love creating or songwriting. Um, perhaps you're uh, you know just really like focusing on uh, t turning that pain. That you've experienced into power uh but i feel strongly like there's some really powerful bonds that you will be developing with someone because you have the spiritual partnership and you also have synchronicity you also have love partnerships here and spiritual partnerships so you know this is just double confirmation um that not only will you, you know, you may very well meet your love connection um, doing something you love. You know, you may meet someone very special who may also be in the practice or in the field that you're in. So let's get your outcome, beloveds. So let's tap in, beloveds. So beautiful spirit, what messages do you have, my beloved Scorpios? What is the outcome? And we have four perseverance. So look at all that healing that's been done. You know, you've persevered through a lot, grown through a lot. This has come out a lot as well. That's the heart chakra. So you really, really did your due diligence to heal. You've healed so much that you are, you know, like they said, you're you're now like a, a leader. You, you're seen as someone who's very wise. You can impart a lot of wisdom. You have a lot of wisdom. I'm hearing wisdom. Wise don't. And that's literally what that, you know, that 81, that nine, that hermit is. He's a wizard, you know. He's an elder. He's an older man. You know, if you think of, you know, the, the, the traditional tarot card, um, 
he's an elder. He's got gray hairs. Gray hairs always, you know, denote or symbolize wisdom. Someone who's lived a long time, experienced life. And so that's how you're seen. That's how this is what's hidden. You're growing wiser. You're intelligent, you know, and with intelligence comes prosperity and success. So look what we have. We have follow your dreams as the outcome. So you definitely, as I said earlier, it's like it's no longer where we're just going along to get along or doing what we have to do just to get a check. It's like now it's time to live. You got to live now. You got to make the effort. This is another 13. So it's like this is like that aha moment, perhaps, because this is what's coming in. This is the energy of what's uh, coming towards you or what who or what's coming towards you. And it says effort. So I feel like this is the enlightenment moment, that moment of epiphany, grand epiphany or that grand aha. You know, it's like I got to I got to go after my dreams. I can't chase a dollar. I can't chase ass. I got to chase my dreams. You know what I'm talking about? So this is the death of the old, the birthing of something new. And look what follows. New beginnings. Can't make that up. Beautiful. And look at that completion. So this cycle, you know, has obviously run its course. There's no, there's, you can no longer lie to yourself and, and rest comfortably at night. It's like your spirit is, is screaming at you to go and follow your dreams. And it's like, you're going to do just that. You know, that 13 is four and this one that makes it five. So that's literally that energy of like the Hierophant. So you could be building your wealth of knowledge and building your skill sets, honing your skills, you know, discovering new ways to, to, um, you know, to, to display some of these talents that you have, but it's like, you, th there's something that you are wrapping up and it's, it's done. You, you've gained the enlightenment that you need to just let something go. There's one, two, three, four, five purple cards and purple is associated with the crown. So you've absolutely, you know, have grown spiritually. This is about being in spiritual alignment. And that's why spirit is saying that you are, um, you know, a leader, you know, and that this spiritual career will absolutely bring fulfillment. It will bring joy. It will bring happiness. Um, and some of you all, that's the reason why you're seeing these synchronicities, because that's spirit's way of letting you know what's coming in. And it's because you've persevered. It's because you've healed. This four is the heart chakra. This is also the vibration of 1111. So because you've healed yourself, healed your heart chakra mainly, that's why you're now open to love. That's why love is now, you know, coming in. It's finding you. You know, you, you, you attract what you are. That's beautiful. I love that. So let's tap in. We're going to use the, um, let's get some psychic tarot. You know what? No, I want to use the um, Egyptian gods. Oracle cards. That's what I want to use. I want to use some more Oracle cards and then we're going to use some tarot cards some uh, regular tarot uh, Spirit of peace power and but can you come on out of the box? It would be kind. Thank you All right, so what do we have in the bottom of the deck? It says order and peace So look at that order and peace So you're gonna have order and peace. I feel because this is the card we're about to clarify Whoever this spiritual partner is, they're going to bring a lot of order and peace into your life. And like I just said, you attract what you are. And you're attracting this order and peace because you finally wrapped up a cycle where it was out of control. You know, there was a lot of... Uh, a lot of uh, emotional baggage that you rid yourself of. And a lot of karmic... A lot of karmic debt that you paid off. And now you're going to have this order. And this is Shu. And this is the Egyptian um, God's Oracle deck. So this is powerful. And this just really shows as above, so below. You know, this is beautiful. This is powerful. Okay, so let's tap in. So what's on the split? Okay, this card is, this card was, look at that. These are all faced this way, and this card was the only card 
that was faced the wrong way. See that? It was facing me this way. And so what came, it says alchemical force. So that's powerful. So this could be something that you've manifested. You know, I feel like you've either, you know, set the intention because it says alchemical. So we are the alchemist. You are the magi, you know. And so as you put your intentions out there, and this is the number 29. So that 29, that reduces to two. So you are the high priest and high priestess in your life. Because that 2 reduces to, uh, I said that 2, that 11, that, that 29 um, reduces to 2. And so that 2 is associated with a high priestess. And so again, this, this could be something you've absolutely manifested. You, are the, you have divine knowledge, Scorpios. And that's why that spiritual career is here as well. Because you all are spiritual practitioners yourselves. And you're going to develop spiritual partnerships with other like minds, with other people in the craft, other people. You know, that's why I was, I was picking up like, you know, whomever you may, um, you know, get into any type of partnership with. Uh, it may start off as a business partnership, but then it's going to evolve into you know, a love connection, because not only are you two, you know, similar in that right, in terms of your spirituality, but there will also be a lot of commonality, similarities, um, and synergy and chemistry and interest. That's beautiful. I love that. So on the split, we have order and peace and transformation. I can't make that up. And remember, I was speaking to transformation with this 13 here. So whoever you're attracting to you, that's what we're about to clarify, is someone who's gone through major transformations. This is someone who's gone through a death. You could see that they are weighing, um, is this the one where they're weighing the heart with the feather? And it looks just like that. Yep. Weighing the heart with the feather. So when you weigh the heart with the feather, this is Anubis too. You know, it's like this, this is someone, you know, that's why they had a transformation because maybe there was some work that needed to be done. Changes, shifts, just like what you had to do. So divine spirit of peace, power, and protection. What messages do you have for our beloved Scorpios? Let me get a message of peace, power, and protection for my beloved Scorpios. Why is this effort here for who our beloved Scorpios are attracting to them? Why is this effort here for who our beloved Scorpios are attracting to them? Let me get a message of peace. Message of power and protection, spirit. One more I'm hearing is fine. Thank you. Learn cut the deck. I like to cut three times. <laughs> All right. So we have on the bottom of the deck. It says, um, hermit. What is that? Hermit age. So this is someone who's been learning. This is someone who has gone through major changes and now they are consulting with their higher, higher selves and they're assessing, they're observing, they're learning. It says hermitage. So hermitage is when you are, you know, kind of in isolation. You know, really going within self-awareness, self-discovery. And that is why there is this death, you know, this major transformation because someone gains some sort of epiphany. If you look on the top of this, you know, on uh, what's his name? Khonsu. It looks like that's like a moon, you know, and that moon represents intuition. It represents clarity. It represents awareness and so someone has gained some sort of epiphany that there was something they needed to change whilst they were looking back in awareness at whatever they were entangled in that they finally made a decision to leave behind and they're making the effort to walk away from something or someone uh, we have uh, renewal here and we're about to clarify 46 domestic homage. I said domestic homage. <laughs> Harmony. So whoever this is, this is happy. So someone does want to, you know, have a fresh start with you. 
You know, this is also you having, you know, this sense of rege regener rejuvenation and regeneration of your spirit. You feel in harmony with yourself because you've taken the necessary time to heal, you know, to heal at a soul level, to do that internal work, to ground yourselves, to heal from past wounds and traumas. And so this renewal is like you feel refreshed, you feel rejuvenated, you feel like you have like a, you've reset, you know, you've really, uh, worked on yourselves in that regard you really put that time and that energy that's beautiful or this is how they see you or perceive you so divine spirit thank you spirit and we have on the bottom of the stack it says understanding and i like to say inner but i guess this is fitting because you know it's under so this is supposed to be like mother gaia the universe i believe like source you know and and it's like everything underneath it is us and where we are in this dimension and so that that's powerful that's a beautiful depiction by the way i love that and so what we have here is we have um union and power so how they see you is they see you as someone that they could have you know not only a beautiful union love connection remember we saw that six and i was feeling like this is someone that could see themselves you know in a partnership with you this is like that yin yang energy but the power is also, they see you as a power, you know, someone they could ha have, you know, be in a power couple with because they see you as that empress. They see you as someone who has really worked on yourself. This is someone that definitely uh, sees your improvement, sees your growth. If you look at this card, it says 23, that's five. And then there's 46, that's one. So that's the six, the lovers, union and power. So this is that person that absolutely can see themselves uh developing that love connection that love ship and really coming into um a committed union with you we have computer love playing so this person may be someone you might meet online or through a social media platform maybe some of you are you know um on the uh love what do you call those um dating sites you know you may meet someone through a dating site maybe you'll meet someone uh on a social media platform but we have computer love playing by zap and roger so someone's name could be roger but they do see you as someone very much in like you are in your element they see you as someone strong and they see you see you because if you look there's two eyes of Heru there and so those two eyes most of these cards it's only depicting one you see it's only depicting one eye of Heru and so these two eyes are showing that this person watches you I feel like this person does kind of watch from a distance they got their eyes on you and they like what they see. They they almost envision these things. I think with 23 also and this 46, that one, that six, that's the lovers, you know. So the lovers, as I said, it's not only about love, but in this case, I feel like it's about both. It's about coming into some strong business partnerships, unions, connections, alliances, as well as spiritual partnerships, love partnerships unions connections this is beautiful so what's hidden in the energy we're about to pull and we have understanding and so remember the understanding um in order for you to you know to to have knowledge you know you have to understand you have to understand what you're learning um and i feel like that's now why uh, there's going to be a lot of synchronicities because now that you've gained that understanding and you've gotten rid, if this is your energy or someone else, you've gotten rid of that ego, it's like now the understanding can take place and now there can be true, you know, true, like true progress made. I feel like now things can really pick up or things can really develop because now someone has gotten rid of the ego. The, e the ego, it's necessary, but the ego can also hinder you and delay, you know, your progress. Because the ego is, it's like the ego wants what it wants. When it sees that you're pushing to 
expand and grow and evolve, um, it fights back, it pushes back. And so you tend to be more reactionary and not proactive. You know, it's more like you respond, you know, after something. It's, it's just like, it's a protective mechanism. It's really to protect you. But it's like when you're doing the spiritual work, it's like you, you have to confront your fears head on. The only way out is through. So it's like that's what you realized. And that's perhaps why the spiritual career is here. Because everything that you've learned, you're going to help teach others. You're going to be a teacher. You're going to heal others. You're going to impart that wisdom to others. And others will soak it up. You know, maybe you will you will communicate those messages through your music in your music you'll make like what they call um conscious music or you know soul music i call it soul music whether it's hip-hop whether it's classical jazz if it's soul if it's something that your soul can feel it feeds your soul your spirit it's soul music what they're playing now is it's death culture all across the board there's nothing enlightening empowering loving inspiring that's going on out here if that's the message they keep it very hush very quiet and they don't want it to get out on the mainstream so they only push death culture they only push sex drugs and more that is wash rinse repeat out here and that's how i know there's an agenda to dumb down society and and have us like infighting and going against each other to distract us from what they're doing but i digress so you know there's definitely some inner standing now it's like now someone is very much awakened and that's again the reason why someone finally completes this cycle and embarks on this new beginning because you know they they kill that that noise with this you know with this ego the ego and the pride oh you know that can hinder you so let's tap in why why is uh spiritual career pride love partnerships um what is that physical activity synchronicity leadership and music here for what's hidden in the energy for my beloved scorpios let me get a message of peace power and protection thank you spirit that message flew out and understanding is still on the bottom of the deck it's powerful so what we have here and look she's pouring water look at that water coming out of that vase it says hope see that Remaining hopeful and optimistic. And what's the number? That's 22. So your intuition, because remember in this deck, intuition was 22. That was the double twos. So your intuition told you to remain hopeful and optimistic. It's, you're in tune. You know, you're in tune. Because when you remain hopeful, it's like you know that those prayers, those petitions, and all of those daily mantras, affirmations, chants that you've been sending out into the ethers, you know that you're going to receive an answer to that prayer or a miracle. You are expecting that. And so this hope, you can see that va that water, you know, is pouring out of the vase. So that that really um is like the purification process it's the cleansing it's like you've been cleansed and so now there's uh, you know you've been healed and so now there's there is you know an answer to your prayer because you've done the work and we have holding back the years playing and this is angie stone's rendition and it's 11 11 on the clock so perhaps some of you all have been holding on to the idea of falling into a divine love ship connection because 1111 is um, on the clock and Angie Stone is singing holding back the years. If you could see that 1129 is 1111 and Angie Stone is singing holding back the years. So this could be perhaps, you know, even that six could speak to, you know, the six of cups, somebody from your past, somebody that, you know, someone familiar with you, you know, somebody has been holding back, you know, and now remember, uh, Bob Marley had steer it up. So maybe if they were holding back, maybe you were holding back fighting it because of this pride and this ego, you know, and, um, you know, someone is going to come in that's going to stir up these emotions. And, and then this is another rendition of like, you know, the water is, you know, kind of overflowing from this vessel, this cup. That's powerful. And the outcome is understanding. Understanding your purpose, understanding your worth. That four is yet again 
you know, echoed. So we got that perseverance here on the bottom of the deck. And there goes the 22 intuition that I was just talking to. So this is how you've been able to, you know, accomplish or acquire what you have because you remained, you know, very in tune. You, you've listened and trusted your intuition. But this four, I'm sorry, not that four. Oh, wow. Look at that. Spirituality is underneath that. Oh, this is powerful. This is powerful. You definitely got some sort of sacred bond with somebody. But um, we got this perseverance. So healing. You know, now you have a better understanding of how to love thyself. You had to heal thyself in order to learn to love thyself. And now that you love thyself, you now know thyself. So it's like as above, so below, as within, so without. So whatever took place in your life, it was, you know, this was a part of a, a, a contract that you may have signed. It was a part of karmic debts that you had to pay off. And that's why Spirit is confirming that that cycle is now complete and you are definitely on the precipice of a brand new start. So it's like follow your heart's truest desires at this junction of your lives. So why is this 85? Thank you. So your message is here. And we have, it says stability and equilibrium. Heru. They say Horus, but you know, I have my own way of saying things. <laughs> so Heru. So this is powerful. So this is what you've gained, stability and equilibrium. And we have um, completeness on the bottom of the deck. And look at that. That's beautiful. Completeness. And remember, completion is here. So these messages are echoing through different decks. And then we have My Funny Valentine by Shaka Khan. So with this... Um, stability and equilibrium i absolutely feel like this is just speaking to you having found your balance you found that peace that harmony in your life remember that's how someone saw you as domestic harmony and they also saw you as union and power so you have rediscovered or reconnected with yourself so much that you are now in emotional spiritual uh equilibrium and this stability was by you taking that necessary time to, you know, consult with your higher self. That nine is the hermit. And remember, we saw hermitage. So that person that you are attracting or whomever you're attracting, it was like, this is again mirroring, you know, because that nine is the number of the hermit. And so that just shows like the the discipline you know the discipline and the tenacity uh that was required to obtain you know this this stability and equilibrium is you had to go through a major death as well um and you also had to find your grounding your footing again uh because i feel like there were many instances in your connections in your relationship even in your circumstance um that may have let you know like you weren't loving yourself the way that you should have you weren't respecting yourself as much as you could have um and so those relationships had to end you you were very invested i feel in those connections however whomever or whatever you were dealing with weren't as connected and invested in you and with my funny valentine um i feel like you know there were um many moments where those connections didn't feel like real love uh it felt like someone was perhaps toying with your emotion or they weren't fully all in they was just kind of half foot in half foot out uh this 13 is definitely a death you no longer were chasing love or chasing a person or a situation anymore you were now going to refocus your energy on chasing your dreams and following your dreams and your heart's truest desires and that four in this one this new beginning um that's where you start really focusing all your energy turning pain into power so whatever that dream is you're getting busy because that 13 reduces to four that one reduces to five that's the hermit 
I mean, the hang, uh, I'm sorry, the hierophant. And so that's you really, you know, turning that pain into power, really honing those skills, those gifts, those talents, even discovering your skills, gifts, and talents, even, you know, tapping in, um, you know, to some of the things that you once loved to do, but may have taken a break, a long pause because you were in a partnership. It's like now this, you following your dreams is leading up to a beautiful, uh, fresh start. And that's when the cycle completes, because I feel you're going to bump into someone special and that person may very well become your man, your, uh, wife or your husband, your divine counterpart. Um, and so this stability and equilibrium is very, um, well earned because we could see that you've really pushed past a lot of your fears and healed, uh, that heart chakra that healed that heart space. And in return, you now know thyself, you know, your worth, you know, your value, you know what you're deserving of. So that's beautiful. So let's tap in beloveds. Let's see what we got coming and going out, going on. I'm going to get some messages from, let's see what we're going to get our message. Let's get it from over here. I'm always pulling from those. Let's get, let's use traditional tarot for once. It's been a little minute. So let's do that. All right. So let's tap in. Look at who's on the bottom of the deck. I mentioned the Empress. So this is what you all have evolved into. Whether you're feminine or masculine, you're the Emperor. As a fem feminine energy, you're the Empress. So this is the energy that you've evolved into. Remember I was saying, you know, because someone was healing, um, you know, that 12, the hangman, now they see you as this Empress, you know, someone who's really taken that necessary time to find that balance you know, within themselves, and they can see you as wife material. This empress is every man's dream. The emperor is every woman's dream, you know, because they are very confident, very beautiful, very strong. Look what's on the behind this card. This is powerful. You got the lovers, and I mentioned that as well. So these lovers here, this could really speak to you coming into a very sacred connection with someone. And I feel like you may be expecting this if you're feminine, because this feminine is looking up at the angel as if she's praying and calling it in. The masculine is looking over to the feminine. And remember, I was saying there was a masculine that was, um, you know, that was um, kind of, well, I didn't say it was a masculine, but there was an energy of someone watching another. You know, and I just, that just kind of came to light, like, you know, and this doesn't mean that they're like together. They could be in two separate parts of the world. Um, it just, they appear here together. But, you know, if you look, they have two different backgrounds, you know, she's standing by what appears to be like a fruit tree of some sort. And he's standing by a different type of tree, which looks like it has flames. So I don't know if that's like speaking of his burning desire and love, um, but they're, also, um, there's a snake that is like kind of slithering up this feminine's, uh, tree, you know, and that snake represents change. That snake is also, um, indicative of, you know, something, um, of shedding, you know, shedding, you know, kind of like your old version of yourself. That's powerful. But this angel is conspiring. You know, she's kind of bringing these two into union. And if you remember, we had spiritual partnership. And that's literally how these develop. People don't just come into your life for no reason. They come into your life because they're ordained to do so. It's, it's written, you know. So this love partnership and spiritual partnership, as I said, it could very well lead to marriage. Because, you know, your angels and guides are, you know, aligning someone into your life you know they're aligning you and another person into one another's life i should say so let's tap in so in the split we have again new beginning fresh starts that's the ace of wands someone's taking action that could be you that's also speaking of passion those wands you know that's a very felicious um energy so this is someone very passionate and as I was looking at that uh, lover's card, it's still there. These, I don't know, these these flowers or whatever those are, it just looks like little flames. And so that, that flame, that person is very passionate about you, attracted to you. That empress is a very attractive energy, even the, the emperor. 
you know, very handsome, very dapper, very debonair. You know, you know, feminines see them and they look at them like, you know, that's someone that is, you know, they take they take control of a situation. You know, they're very pro uh, productive, resourceful, um, powerful, uh, protective. You know, caretakers. They're they're you know very intentional. They mean what they say. They're a man of their word. They stick by their word. You know, so it's like that. That's a very attractive energy. And I just saw the devil. And I see the five of pentacles. So some of you may have uh, been left out in the cold, but that's a thing of the past. Because like I said, it's like whatever happened to you, you've managed to turn pain into power. This is an energy of you working very diligently, very tenaciously. Like you're like really focused on achieving something. This is having that eye of the tiger or your eyes on the prize. This is literally tunnel vision. It's like you're just working, you're focused, you love what you do, and that could be why the spiritual career showed up. This is like honing your skills, mastering your craft. He's just knocking out all of these pentacles. It's very powerful energy. And he looks satisfied. You know, if you look at his face, he's kind of smiling. So I get a sense of like, whatever you're doing, you love what you're doing. And it's because you're now following your dreams. You know, you left that job you've been at for 15, 20 years, and you're following your dream, and it brings you a lot of joy. You may have felt, you know, like financially you was in a rut, but you're going to feel very emotionally fulfilled in that. Set. So let's tap in, beloved. Let's see what's coming and going out, going on. We're going to clarify these messages and then we're going right out. <laughs> so you got some good news coming, you know, some good news, powerful, positive information, wish fulfillment, even, you know, something rushing in. That's going to bring, you know, a lot of happiness and joy, brighten up your day. And with this news, it's like, it's almost like you're expecting it because you see this. It's like there's some sort of uh, decision. You've made a decision to go in a completely different direction. And remember, we had ready for the world. And this person is like holding what appears to be like a globe. So there's been long, you know, uh, assessment, consideration of what choice to make, you know, and, and you've made your decision and you're choosing. I was feeling like there was going to be some travel, you know, or you're at a distance from someone. Someone could be traveling. Maybe you're expecting someone to come and visit you, but there's definitely like some travel in your future. I don't know if you're going to be uh, going on a vacation uh, this summer, traveling in the summertime. So the overall energy, we have the three of pentacles. So that's very powerful because that speaks to marriage. This could be like a marriage ceremony, as I was saying, with the spirituality or the spiritual partnership and this three of pentacles, that's building an alliance. That's literally what it looks like. This person could be like literally having like some sort of wedding ceremony. You know, um, this always looks like a flashlight. Maybe that's even counseling, you know, but this alchemical force is like there's literally like some sort of, you know, um, it just seems like this is something you've manifested. You're manifesting some partnership or some alliance. If you aren't, someone else is. And we have uh, 1144 on the clock and it says true. So this is, um, I know this love is true. Ah, 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 ah. So, yeah, so this is going to be a love partnership, no doubt about it. So this is, uh, what is that? Span do ballet, ballet, span do ballet. I don't know why it's called that. It says moments in love on the bottom. So I don't know if that's the name of the album, but that's who's singing that. And it's 1144, so that breaks down to 10. So this is definitely someone you're going to have a very strong, like, it's going to be equal give and take. This is someone willing to compromise. This is definitely someone intentional. As I said, I felt like this is like a partnership. Like, you're coming into some sort of partnership, building with another person, you know, building some sort of an alliance and it says alchemical force and with that too i just feel like this is something you've manifested this also could be you really um you know um in a space where you're um where you may be uh imparting 
knowledge, wisdom, you know, divine knowledge. Maybe you'll be in your element where you're teaching because remember I was picking up like you're a teacher, you're a healer, especially with this leadership. So this could literally uh, be you, you know, kind of like you're here teaching and then these these individuals could be learning from you. And through these, th through this process, you can meet someone, uh, your true love. You may meet someone who is true, you know, and it says moments in love. So that's, you know, I, I just get a sense of like, there's going to be some moment where you and this person will like, you will sense there's something more, something deeper, you know, that you all want to investigate, you know. So the Queen of Pentacles is here on the bottom of the deck, and we're able to pull the energy for who or what you're attracting to you. So it looks like you're attracting stability. So all that hard work you was putting in with the Eight of Pentacles that we just saw is now paying off because this is independence, stability, security. And remember how someone saw you um, was union and uh, power, but there was also the stability and equilibrium. So that's confirming, you know, what you're attracting to you is the stability. You know, this queen of pentacles uh, could be considered a wife. So whomever you're attracting to you, you know, if this is a love partnership, they could be going through some sort of uh, death of a con connection, the demise of a relationship, um, dissolution of a marriage. Maybe someone's leaving another person, you're leaving another person, and you'll come into union with, an, with this new uh, cosmic companion. But it says hermitage. So this person is in, you know, still in a very protective bubble, learning, healing, growing, going through their process after dealing with, you know, whomever this queen of uh, pentacles is. Uh, we got the emperor here. So there definitely was some sort of separation, it looks like, because this feminine's back is turned to the masculine. And this 13 does reduce to four, which is the emperor. So I do feel like this emperor you know, is in a space where they are taking some time to assess. You know, the emperor is usually very action oriented, but this time around they're assessing. They want to make sure whatever they invest in is going to, you know, kind of meet their standards because, you know, an emperor knows, you know, he knows his worth. Even if you're an empress, you know, you're worth your value. You're not settling. This queen of pentacles is also very, um, successful and abundant and a hard work, a very, you know, uh, resourceful and practical, uh, domestic. Uh, so this could speak to, you know, perhaps, as I said, uh, the demise of a relationship. If you look at this masculine's face, it looks pretty pissed off and then her back is turned. So this is giving me that someone is going through like the demise of a partnership, a relationship, uh, because there wasn't enough effort made. And so whomever this feminine energy is or masculine energy is, it's like they've taken the time out to focus more so on the self. This is like that self-preservation. We just saw uh, perseverance. So I feel like someone said, you know what, let me take care of me. Let me focus on me. Let me love me. And that's the, you know, that's the energy now. So let's tap so who is this? Why is this 13 and hermitage here for who or what our beloved Scorpios are attracting to them? I feel like there's a reunion or celebration. Someone is definitely, you know, or maybe someone's discovered some sort of, uh, you know, triangular situation here. And I see the three of uh, cups coupled with the queen of cups. If you see that queen's chalice is closed. You know, and her head is down almost as if to, and she looks pissed off. Look at that face, mean mugging. She could be cussing homeboy, homegirl out, whomever, you know, like I'm not ever opening up my heart to anyone. And that's why, you know, um, I was getting a sense of like, you know, trust your intuition when it comes to love, because there was, you know, there's someone true. There is someone true. And then there could be someone who is you know, probably trolling, <laughs> you know, just trying to, you know, gaslight, manipulate, sabotage a situation because they may see that you're coming into a sacred connection. But let's tap and see what the cards have to say. So, divine spirit of peace, power, and protection. What messages do you have for our beloved Scorpios? Who is this that our beloved, who or what is our beloved Scorpios attracting to them? Let me get a message of peace, power, and protection. Someone that knows what they want. And they're coming in to make the effort because they've made a decision. 
You're their choice. You're their pick. You're who they want. So there is distance. I was getting that with the ready for the world, that there was some sort of distance, mental, emotional, you know, even physical distance. Um, but there's also a sense that someone may want to travel or visit to see you. Someone's making a decision, has chosen you. If you see, he's already bolted down this other staff and he's taken this staff here. So this is that new beginning. This is someone very passionate. And they think the world of you. I also feel this person has grown after going through some sort of startling metamorphosis or transformation. This could be your energy even, you know, going through a death and, and transforming and uh, being more risky, more daring, uh, following your dreams, following your heart's truest desires, you know, putting whatever no longer serves you to the past, the back burner. Look at that, taking charge, taking action. You got the chariot here. So this is really about assertiveness. Someone's coming in assertively. How they feel about you is they feel that you are their yin to their yang or their yang to their yin. You know, they definitely feel that you are balanced. Uh, we got that, you know, stability and equilibrium card here. And that's literally what, you know, this chariot is all about. You have to be uh, very balanced within yourself, very much uh, in harmony uh, in order to get this chariot, you know, to move these two powerful um, horses. So, you know, the fact that there's a yin yang vibration just tells me this person does see you as their twin flame, as their soulmate, and they are very attracted to you. Um, they see you as someone that they can, you know, have that happy house, happy spouse with. Uh, the six that I'm getting from the 23 uh, and this one, that's five, that's six. That is giving the lovers that we just saw. And the lovers is obviously a union, a connection. It's a spiritual partner. So this person sees you as someone that they could come into a very sacred union with. Um, they can, you both can be, you know, power couple. They, they feel this sense of synergy and heart, you know, and, and, and chemistry. This person is charging in towards you. They're coming in assertively. Whoever this is, this could be someone that is, uh, you know, they may have cancer in their chart because that chariot is associated with the cancer sign. So this could be someone that definitely um, is uh, a cancer or born in the month of July. So let's tap in divine spirit of peace, power, and protection. What messages do you have for our beloved Scorpios? Why is this 46 domestic harmony here for how this person or whom or this thing that our uh, beloved Scorpios are attracting to them feel? What did I say about someone wanting to communicate? So this is someone wanting to clear the air, have a conversation. They want to take action. They want to rush in. They feel very attracted to you also. How they feel about you is they definitely want to take action. They want to come in. This is like excitement. This is joy. This is like passion. They they want to rush in, you know, but I also feel this is like they are, you know, a little, you know, kind of trying to get their, trying to muster up the strength and the courage. Because whenever I see that chariot, I just feel like someone's kind of working on their their confidence. And they, you know, so it's like they, they do eventually uh, take action, it looks like. You know, because I felt like for a long time they were just kind of watching, you know, and this could even be your energy. You're watching someone, but there is action. So how they feel about you is they, they definitely want to take action. They definitely feel a lot of passion and they feel it's intensifying. And they're rushing in like he's he's rushing on in here. And it's to express and communicate because that 23 is, you know, communication. That's number five. That's you know, the throat chakra. So I do feel like they're rushing in to express something because we have this ace of swords. So there is a sense of like, yo, I just cut something off that no longer serves me. And now I'm going full steam ahead because, you know, perhaps Scorpio is my, my, my wish fulfillment, a dream come true. But this could just literally speak to a blessing or a miracle rushing in towards you. And this is going to allow you to finally cut yourself free from, you know, the things, people, circumstances that no longer serve you. And we have um, early in the morning playing. And this is by the Gap Band. So there is distance because Gap definitely denotes that there's some sort of distance between you and this person. That's what's hidden. And so this person definitely wants to clear the air. I keep hearing clear the air. You know, they want to speak a truth or they want to straighten things out. 
you know, there's some sort of clarity also. Like I said, there there's an ego death, so they're kind of like cutting themselves free from all of these faulty belief systems and ideologies. So why is um, 78 spiritual career, pride, love partnership, physical activity, synchronicity, leadership, and music, and hope here for what's hidden in the energy? So you may be coming off very guarded, you know, you may be feeling uh, very protective of your energy, of your peace, your peace of mind. Um, and so with early in the morning, I feel like this person may definitely get a sense like, you know, that they're when they wake up, they're thinking of you when they go to bed, they're thinking of you, um, but they feel this distance. There's definitely distance. And we know that because this person is sitting here planning you know, and strategize, strategizing on how to take some sort of action. Um, perhaps this is just what's hidden behind the scenes, but there's definitely, you know, what's hidden is that there's a sense of guardedness. And look at that. Remember what I was saying about spirit saying be open to love and receptive to love because it's true. So you may be coming off very guarded, very blocked. And what's playing right now is early in the morning. So with this energy here, I feel what I heard is um, what I heard was a little, you know, forgive me, y'all. But I, I'm, I heard I heard morning wood. <laughs> That's what I heard about my eye. I like don't judge me, but I heard morning wood. So, you know how a man gets a hard on early in the a.m. And so that's what I was getting. I was getting a sense of like someone is really in love and lust and, you know, and, 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 you know, attracted to another person. Um, but there's this sense of guardedness. Look at how the water is overflowing. Very similar to how it is here. You know, you see how the water's overflowing and I was just getting a sense of like, you see the water sprinkling down and then the same is here. So I do get a sense of like, this person is very, very attracted to you. And I see that here, you know, if you look at that, that wand he's holding, it's very felicious. And this is, you know, the energy that's how they feel about you. You know, if you look, he's holding that wand. So he feels very passionate. You know, and that passion ignites, you know, early in the a.m. So they may have a morning wood. I don't know why I heard that, but that's what I heard. And so, you know, and then you're coming off very guarded with the gap band. I definitely get a sense of like there being distance. Ashe. So let's tap in. Why is this 85? Uh, follow your dream. One new beginning completion. Um, and... Uh, stability and equilibrium but this person is still hopeful you know because what's hidden is you know yeah you're, you're guarded but there's still this sense of hope you know optimism because they see you as a wish fulfillment they see you as the one you know that that really you know because even that that water gushing out um is just very symbolic of the love that they feel for you so let's tap in so what and i feel there's a message coming is that page of wands is there and it's exciting news you're gonna be excited so why does this 85 follow your dream one new beginning nine completion stability and equilibrium here for the outcome for my beloved scorpios beloved let me get a message of peace power and protection thank you spirit bottom of the deck there goes the hanged man so there is communication because we have the five of swords i do feel like this completion with stability and equilibrium, I, I do feel like that you're wrapping up a cycle of this type of exchange where there's these back and forths, you know, with negative Nancy's, Debbie Downers, Lion Larry's, like you, you you just have nothing to give those type of energies. You just like you you completely cut yourself free from that. That's why you have this new beginning is you don't have the time to engage in this this toxic you know, this toxicity and, and that's, what's helping you to gain that stability, you know, and to find your grounding, to really get back into harmony with yourself because you're no longer dealing with folks who find it fun to, to, you know, uh, bring out the worst in people, um, to gossip all day, to be negative, to complain, to be combative and argumentative and hostile. You don't have the energy for that. So you've wrapped up any cycle with people that brought that type of vibration because you've gained some sort of awareness and clarity and through assessing that's how I feel like, you know, there could have been some sort of ego death on your behalf or someone else's. Sirens are going off. So this could be a potential, like, energy vampire. 
I'm just going to let that go by. I will. Everyone is safe and healthy and protected. So, you know, this could be that type of energy you was dealing with. And that's why completion is here. Because you're no longer entangling in that energy. You can see you've literally retreated by just throwing your sword down. You know, you just threw the sword down. You're not participating in that. And whomever else was involved, it's like there was a point in time, you know, where you were hurt. You know, maybe you've given this person many chances. This could both depict the same person, just different stages, perhaps. But if this is two different people, maybe there were third party entanglements or different scenarios that took place that you just finally said, you got to choose you, love you, treat you better, prioritize you and end cycles where people are like emotionally leaving you bankrupt. And I feel like that's how you were able to gain the stability and equilibrium is by walking away clearly from the people, places, and things that no longer serve you. So that's very powerful. And you couldn't have done that without taking the necessary time to go within and to heal at a soul level because that 46 is 10. So that's the end of a cycle that was very tough. But that one reduces, uh, I mean, that 46 reduces to one. And that one is associated with the root chakra. So I do feel like there was a very um, poignant moment where you took time to go within to heal those past wounds, traumas, and really get into uh, harmony with yourself. And that's the union, you know, as well, you know, coming into union with you, that 46 and that one, that six, the lovers, that could even just speak to you being in harmony with yourself, uh, your masculine and feminine side. So that's a very powerful message. I want to get one more message to clarify uh, the outcome. 85, you know, follow your dreams, new beginnings, completions, and get a message for the outcome. Okay, come on now. And... No, I'm not going to do all those. Bang, bang, boogie cards. We got that page of wands, so there is a message. And we have um, Jody Watley. Don't you want me like I want you to kiss and know about through the night? <laughs> I'm messing up the words. So we got the King of Swords. So there is a message. Someone is finally having some sort of epiphany, aha moment, realizing something. And they're like, look, I got to speak my truth. That sword is saying someone's ready to have a conversation. You know, they're ready to have a conversation to put all this confusion to the test. You know, this is someone very wise as well. You know, and if you look here, the empress is underneath. So this 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 king of swords is ready to communicate and express something to this, you know, this empress. And if you look here, there was a lot of confusion. There's a lot of confusion, a lot of people involved, hearsay, naysay, you know, it's just negativity. And perhaps this is even you cutting yourself free from all the nonsense. And that's how you were able to you know, blossom into the emperor or the empress. You know, maybe these are people who are trying to cause confusion. Maybe these, these were other uh, people competing and biting for someone's time. But whatever the case may be, you are fully prepared to cut off what doesn't serve you. Um, or that could be someone fully prepared to cut off what doesn't serve them. Or that could just literally be someone wanting to communicate. Um, if you look on the back of this king's throne, there are butterflies. So that does make me feel like this is that same, you know, person that, you know, went through that major transformation, you know, that has been really taking the time to assess and to take accountability. So we have the temperance. Good things take time to create. This also shows the patience. Patience is a form of action. So in order for you to now you know, uh, be able to, you know, follow your dream and accomplish your goals. Um, you had to take that time to really plan out, map out a plan, um, map out and strategize your plan, I should say. And, you know, temperance is also showing that there was a lot of work that was required, uh, not only on your part, but for whoever you're attracting to you. And so that's why spirit is here showing like, look, pour into your own cup, learn to love you, heal thyself, learn to, you know, to, to move to the beat of your drum, learn to, uh, take risks and follow your heart's truest desires before embarking on, you know, new love ships with other people. Make sure that you know thyself, you know what I'm talking about? And so that's what you did. And if you look again, you know, pouring into 
one's own vessel. That's the balance that was required. Not only she's pouring, there's two vessels here, which means the angel, the same angel on the lovers is the same angel here in temperance, on the temperance, showing that this they're teaching you both, you and whomever you're attracting, how to love thyself, how to heal thyself, you know, like how to know thyself. And so when you gain that full understanding, then the, the ball can move. Then things can start turning in your favor in terms of what you're attracting. As you can see here, clearly someone is healing. Someone is reflecting. Someone is up in their head a lot. And that's why temperance is here because you got to work through all of this before you embark on any new beginning. Someone is self-sabotaging. So they have to take the necessary time you know, so this is where they started. And I feel this is where, you know, they're at now. They're, they're back down to the four of swords. So that eight of swords, <clears throat> you know, is really when you're self-sabotaging up in your head. That's the ego. That's the, you know, mind playing tricks on you because the devil, you know, the mind is the devil's playground. So this is someone like, you know, lying to themselves, deceiving themselves. This is delusionment, illusion. And you can see there's, you know, she's wearing like this, this uh, blindfold. And then she's like, you know, she's not even wrapped tightly. So if she really wanted to wiggle her way out, she could. But her mind is telling her, oh, you're stuck here for life. So this is all a mental trap. This is mind uckery as I call it. And so that's why this death had to occur, the pride, the ego, you know, someone was too proud to perhaps apologize or too proud to take onus and accountability. This is someone now taking onus and accountability because they're assessing everything. They're playing it, everything back and they're in silence. That same person that has hermitage, this is what they're doing while they're in this hermitage state is they're taking the time to assess their actions, the actions of others, they're taking the time to, you know, reflect on what occurred. And they're also realizing, damn, missed opportunity, feeling like they've missed a great opportunity because the same ace of cups is the one we just saw. So someone is now looking back in awareness and realizing and discovering, um, you know, that perhaps maybe someone that they've offered their cup to it didn't work out because I was getting someone was in a marriage, whether this is you or someone you're attracting. Um, this could be a completely new person. Don't get it twisted. It doesn't always involve a past person, a karmic, an ex. This could be someone that you're attracting to you who's simply been through similar experiences. And the same thing is applicable to you. You've been through similar experiences as the one you're attracting. So it's a very beautiful um, synergy. Because it just shows that when you come together, you're going to have a lot of commonalities and familiarities with one another. And it's because you, your stories will mirror one another. And so this person that you are attracting to you, Spirit is saying, in due time, you know, this will unfold. But I am doing my, watch me work. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm, I'm making sure to you know set this intention so that it'll be perfect for you and this person so that's beautiful so i want to pull some messages from my deck and then we're going to wrap it up uh shay okay so we got the first die here this is the first die card so remember in the beginning of the reading i was saying trust your intuition because the reading started at um and it was six i believe it reduced to and we have uh denroy morgan and it's called i'll do Anything for you. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> if you want me to, I'll do, I'll do anything. I'll do, I'll do anything. I'll do, 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 do. <laughs> All right, so let's tap in. Oh, wow. Look what flew out. I didn't even know. So you have black tourmaline. Florida water, uh, Palo Santo sage, singing bowls and candles. So this is like a protection card. So I do feel like spirit is saying this union is protected. Um, if there is anyone trying to do something to sabotage block or, you know, um, you know, um, bind you or this person, you guys are protected. So this is a beautiful energy. So that black tourmaline, and you could also use any of these to protect yourselves. So, you know, um, you know, purchasing, getting some black tourmaline. Uh, I make my own Florida water. I actually make it from scratch. And I think I'm going to do, uh, um, a how to video 
on the Florida water because you all said you were interested in that. Uh, Palo Santo, sage, singing bowls, and candles. So this is all to keep the frequency high, to to you know to to cast out any energies that are low vibrational, negative energies. So please use those means to cleanse your space, clear, clean, clean, clear, cleanse your space. Um, we got I manifest here, beloveds, and didn't I say you all were manifesting? Uh, this love ship, this spiritual partnership, this connection, um, this cosmic companion. This is perhaps someone that you, you know, may have done some sort of spell work, you know, um, not necessarily for this particular person, but just in general, calling in love, calling in abundance, calling in, you know, emotional fulfillment. And this person is absolutely on their way. So that's beautiful. So maybe they're doing the same as well. Uh, we did see 2-2 two, two intuition, and I was picking up that whomever you're attracting is equally uh, tapped in. And we did see 7-7 seven, seven spirituality, which is another double number, which does indicate that you and this person are on the same frequency and vibration. So that does speak to you both being... Um, both spiritual beings, uh, especially being that it's a spiritual partnership. And um, I was already picking up on the fact that, you know, this person will not only become, you know, maybe a, a business partnership or you may form or develop some sort of alliance or connection with this person, but it could evolve into a love ship as well. So let's tap in. So who is this or what is this that our beloved Scorpios are attracting to them? Thank you. So look at this powerful. It says dive, delve, go deep. So that's what this person did. Because remember, we got hermitage. And the hermit is all about going within because he knows the answers he seeks are found where? Within. So this is a wise soul. Whoever you're attracting to you, this person is very wise. They're in tune. They're just like you, mirroring your energy. As I said, this doesn't have to be a karmic. It doesn't have to be an ex. This is someone that you're attracting that's on the same frequency and vibration as you. And we have cut the karmic cords, lessons already learned. So your person, that's the transformation. They were in a marriage or in some sort of union partnership connection with someone and ish hit the fan. It's the death of that connection, but it's the birthing of this person's freedom. And that's why they're taking action to leave what wasn't serving them behind to embark on something new. And oops, I did it again. They done bumped into you. So they done found real love and they're going to go within. They've taken a long time to choose um, and to plan like this isn't just something that they're quickly dis deciding um, I feel like they really it was like a heart-to-heart -heart they had with themselves and that's why they're walking away so when you bump into this person not only will they be over their ex um, you know not only will they be over their ex but I feel like uh, they would have already done that healing as well um, because they are uh, they're spiritual. They're in tune. They know that in order for them to have anything healthy, they're going to have to, you know, heal the, heal the pain. So we have um, expose and this is called let me be the one. Love you, mommy. It's 1213 on the clock. Love you, mommy. Let me just give me one moment, please. All right. I just had a sense of love to my mom. All right. Let me be the one. So uh, we're about to pull the energy for how they feel about you. And it says, let me be the one. And remember the last time we had true. So someone was definitely feeling like it was true love. So they want you uh, to let them be the one. This is that person that does, you know, kind of, you know, admire you from a distance. Um, this is someone that you could be familiar with. I don't feel like this is a complete stranger because there is attraction. There is a desire. Um, if there isn't yet, I feel when you bump into this person um, and you have that conversation and that exchange, there will be, you know, conversations that follow up. And I feel that's when this person will start looking at you in a whole new light. Uh, so with this oneness, they feel that with you. They feel this connectedness. They feel like you both are um very much like you have a cosmic connection or this spiritual bond. It's a very sacred connection. So why is 46 domestic union or domestic harmony and the Knight of Wands and union and power here for how this person or what our beloved Scorpios are attracting to them feel? 
about them. And we have I'm Coming Home playing right now by New Edition. So someone feels you're like home, you're the hearth. Look at that. It says, it says like minds, A alikes, B alikes. So this is someone that's definitely, this is your, your twin. This is like, even if it's not your twin, it's your soulmate, it's a cosmic companion. This is a very sacred connection. This person feels like you are like the male version, female version of them. You are someone they want to rush towards, you know, but they don't want to mess up. They want to build on a solid foundation because they feel the two of you would be a power couple. This is someone that wants to, you know, they feel this harmony, this energy, this chemistry, like I said. So this is someone that definitely feels you're a like mind. This is powerful. Very beautiful. I love it. And that oneness is still there on the bottom of the deck. So one is about the self, self-love, self-care. You also reduce to 46. You know, I mean, one, that 46 reduces to one. So I do feel like this is someone that does, um, they value, they value people who are healed. You know, it's like this person can value you because they can see themselves in you. And I feel it, the same thing is applicable. Like you'll be able to see, maybe that's the reason why there are two eyes because one represents your eye and one is theirs. It's like that likeness, you know, it's like the two of you, you could see yourself in this person. That's powerful. I love that. That's beautiful. Thank you, spirit. So why is this 78 spiritual? Damn, that was fast. So it says small things, small things. So don't sweat the small things. Remember, you know, like super defensive. And it could be because you was dealing with a pest. You know, you see how I'm swiping this gnat. He's a pest. That's kind of sort of how this person, you know, spirit is telling you like, you know, small things don't give it no, no attention. It, it, it has no, it should carry no weight. So a small thing, what's a small thing to a giant? Nothing. So keep it pushing is what spirit is saying. Cause this is what's hidden. You know, someone's pride and ego may have had them acting a whole fool. And now you're so beyond it. It's like, it's so petty to you. And it says, remember you teach people how to treat you, be your authentic self on the bottom of the deck. So remember what I was saying about this 19 pride where people wear masks, not being genuine. And that's what this is saying. So be your authentic self, authenticity, genuinity, those, that's the traits that we all should, you know, exude. Nobody should be feeling inferior or even superior to other people. I don't give a damn how much money you have. Like I said, that does not equate, you know, to me, in my opinion, that doesn't mean you're the greatest thing alive just because you got money. There's a lot of effed up people in the world with money. So we got to stop worshiping money and worshiping people that have it because there's some real effed up people you know that don't give a damn and it's like you know it's like your spiritual bank account should be more important than any dollar that you make i don't care how much money you got how many times you could fly around the world if you are effed up person you're just an effed up person with a lot of money and that money don't go with you, beloved. <laughs> so newsflash, like you can make all the money in the world, make a trillion dollars. That is going to be right here and you won't be wherever. So it's like that shouldn't be the motivating factor. That shouldn't be your your goal in life is to just make a whole bunch of money. It should always be to be healthy, to be healed and to be able to heal others, you know, just from the exchange, just from the encounter and bumping into you. You know, it should be like, it, it should be a divine feeling that you leave with people, you know, not somebody just, ugh, I don't have any time to sign autographs because I have a plane to catch. Like, you know, it's it just that attitude, that behavior, those things just, it, it just doesn't equate in my eyes. That's just my own humble opinion, but I digress. So small teams, like don't, what's a small thing to a giant? You know, and, and this is what I feel the biggest lesson, you know, that some of you Scorpios learned was that you got to teach people how to treat you. Um, and that meant, you know, establishing those boundaries, because when you're just always available to everybody, always willing to help a hand, you know, lend a helping hand, and, you know, lend some money, your time and your energy, which is even more uh 
which is more like exhausting in my opinion is your energy you know that you're giving it's like all those other things it doesn't matter to so much but the energy exchange with people it's like the, when you feel that there's like someone constantly pulling and tugging that's when you have to just kind of dismiss that you know and and start identifying things as small things it's a small thing so i digress so let's go ahead let's tap in all right beloveds this is your message so you've grown through everything that you've been through that's why this completion is here because you've grown you did the work and we saw that earlier with perseverance all that green on that card shows the growth shows how much you have uh had to endure in order to get to where you are where you are now emotionally fulfilled all of this green speaks to the healing beloved you've done a lot of healing work you know at a soul level you've been healing thyself and that's why you're more attractive now than you've ever been and look at that lotus position this is about taking the time to go within that lotus position is is a position of meditation you know of grounding take the time to go out in nature ground yourselves so that you can really purge anything energetic connect with mother gaia daily go out and greet the sun honor the sun give offerings to the trees put a apple or orange in front of a tree pour water libation in front of a tree give thanks speak to the trees thank mother gaia for providing you know the sun and the and the air the you know all the food that you're eating be thankful wake up with a purpose but this is also about connecting you know deep reflection so you've grown through tremendous uh experiences and loss and hurt and pain and you've evolved and I feel like, you know, that has absolutely made you more attractive. And that's made someone want to come in and express something or communicate uh, something to you as well. I just feel there's a lot of uh, movement forward. Um, you're in your power. You're owning it. And you're also helping others in some way. I just feel like there's... You're like stepping into a new role almost. It's like spirit is, is is definitely like putting you in your position now where you're meant to be or what you're meant to be doing. It's like your life path. You're aligning with your, your life purpose or passion or mission. And it's also aligning you with the people that will help you on this mission. That's beautiful. So congratulations, Scorpios. You got new beginnings ahead of you. You are protected. Your angels and guides are protecting you. And we have Summer Madness playing by Cool in the Gang. So just be cool in the gang, beloveds. You know what I'm saying? Don't sweat anything. Definitely trust your intuition. Meditate. You know, this is a reminder to meditate. You know, and look what's underneath that. I can't make this up. I was just telling y'all to, you know, say, you know, uh, mantras and affirmations, gratitude, prayers. Look at that. I can't make this up. Take the time to meditate. This is meditate to get it straight. And this is what you need to do on a daily basis just to stay grounded. With summer madness, maybe this summer is going to be really crazy. It's going to be a lot demands on your time and your energy. And I feel like this is spirit's way of telling you, you know, to not to lose sight of what's most important you know don't don't just run 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 all day long and don't take that time out for yourself self-love is so important right now that's one of the biggest lessons scorpios have been learning is self love self care so implement that practice that once you learn it don't keep having to learn again and repeat that you know lesson again it's like once you learn something that's it Practice it, implement it, and make it something habitual. Do it so much that it just becomes a part of your normal day, normal routine. Look what's underneath these as well. It says, lion ass, the true thing in you. And remember, you had this energy here. So you're going to have someone coming in to test you. And I feel like, you know, that's why spirit is just saying, like, that's a small thing to a giant. So, in other words, don't get into no screaming matches. Don't be arguing with fools because people on the outside won't know who's who. Just take take your space. Give me, give me 10 feet, beloved. You know, block your phone. 
do what you got to do to protect your energy because now is a very important and critical time to protect your energy everybody shouldn't have access to you everybody shouldn't get on the phone and call you and cry and whine about everything they done said a gazillion times and you've advised them in your humble opinions as much as you could and they didn't take not nan piece of advice you gave them you don't have time to keep having the same conversations with people over and over and over take the time to protect your energy because these individuals know what they're doing you know they know what they're doing so if people only call you with bad news stop answering those calls if the same people keep calling you with the same problems you've been helping them out with for the past 10 15 20 years stop answering those calls <laughs> you know what i'm talking about like it's time to protect your energy and put you first which i don't feel i have to tell y'all because you're now having a very new beginning you've already walked away from these energies but i do feel like somebody's coming back to test it and remember i did see the devil um during the shuffle so there is an energy that is like you know you know, the devil is, is definitely someone that likes to play games, especially mind games. He's a master manipulator. And so once they get you all up in your head, you done lost the you lost the game. The game the the, the, the trick is to not engage with the devil. You know what I'm talking about? So that's your reading, beloved Scorpios. I hope the message has resonated for you. If you found that it did, please be kind, hit the like, the share, subscribe. Um, definitely check out the Etsy shop. If you are interested in booking a consultation, you can now book through my Etsy shop. I had to close down that Shopify because that website was just so, it wasn't user friendly. It was so like glitchy and weird. And I just didn't have the type of time to be sitting there contacting customer support every other day about things that they're not doing. So I had to switch it on over back. Uh, not even back switch it over to my Etsy, you know, I just put everything on my one platform so you can You know you can get a little bit of everything on my Etsy shop, but go check it out so I would definitely encourage each of you to do so. Thank you so much for tuning in tapping in for all of you who are new I hope this message resonated. I hope the way I read hope my energy resonated with yours If you found that it did like share subscribe uh, get the video into the algorithms. Check out the meditation videos that I have been uploading. I have a money uh, manifesta uh, manifestation one. I just did um, a Archangel Mikael Fiery Wall of Protection. Every meditation video I do, intention is put into it. Energy is put into it. The music that I'm making, I, I produce those songs. So it's like I put a lot into uh, those meditations and I speak in some of them um, you know I have a Ma'at one where I spoke the 42 ideals and the 42 uh, principles of Ma'at so you know check those videos out because I, I make those because that that's part of my practice you know so I'm, I'm sharing sharing is caring so I love y'all I'm gonna end it here thank you so much for tuning and tapping in if you are new thank you again for my beloveds that are returning, you already know what it is. Love is love is love. Till next time, I send a big fat Asheo. Peace.